Hey guys, back with another see well video and today we are gonna be doing Heroic Skyblaze second boss Belike or Belik or whatever you wanna call him uh, There, I This is a 14 man team and uh, we're using two tanks, two healers in each squad and rest DPS So what you wanna do is you wanna have two tanks tanking him in the middle like this The group should stay on one of the sides and then you need to have one player very far back because what the boss does is he charges the player who's furthest back so you want to keep it away from the group and um, he takes uh, the player has to take the hit from the boss and then the boss comes back you need two tanks because he puts a debuff on you vulnerability debuff where he burns your armor when your armor is getting burned you have to switch aggro or you will die so as you can see the tank got his uh, armor burn so I switch aggro I'll start getting debuff stacks and then he keeps switching aggro and you have to do this through the whole fight now he does two things uh, which are AOEs just scorching earth which is a small AOE then he does something called immolation so immolation is a fire AOE under two players uh, or three I think if you have 20 men now what's important with this is you have to move away from the group, but you also have to move far from the boss because after the immolation, it will spawn two adds, one on each person with immolation, uh, and they will walk to the boss. If they are not killed before they reach the boss, the boss will get a buff and he will hit harder. Uh, so make sure you kill those adds ASAP. Make sure those with immolation stays far away from the boss and the group so the adds have a longer path to walk uh, to the boss. And that's the first uh, uh, phase of the fight, that's basically it, that's what's gonna happen, it's gonna be uh, the same phase over and over, you have to keep healing the tanks, keep switching aggro, he will charge with explosion charge to the player furthest away, right now we have Dianka who is uh, standing furthest away taking the hits, and then you have uh, the rest of the group on the side moving when they get immolation and killing the adds as fast as possible. Now when the boss starts getting lower HP and he's gonna hit 50% he will skip a scorching earth uh, phase and he will do even more damage to the tanks uh, so make sure the tanks are being healed. Also when the adds die they also put a small AOE uh, so make sure you don't get hit by it or uh, the healing for uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to get a healing perspective I'll make a video once I get that but you have to focus main on the tanks, you don't actually need that much healing for the group. You can even have uh, Magellan healers heal it with Purifying Blast. Healers just have to focus on the tanks because the tank takes a lot of damage in this fight. This is mainly about tank damage. Now, when he reaches 40% HP, as you saw, he did Malum Cleave. So Cleave does an AoE hit on whoever is close. So right now Denny was too close so he got hit by the cleave. So make sure uh, the tanks are tanking and be careful who's standing close to the boss so they get, don't get hit by the cleave. Then he spawns three crystals. Now these three crystals, they will give a buff to everyone. So th there's a uh, magical attack, speed and uh, uh, dodge. They all give different buffs. But every time these you stand near the crystal, you have to have one person on the crystal and they will get a bleeding effect so every time it stacks the crystal will stack a debuff like one two three four five six and they will take more damage so you have to switch out those standing on the crystals with someone else so they can lose the debuff and someone else can get the debuff that or they will take too much damage from the debuff when it stacks too high now he will keep doing uh, the malum cleave so be careful of that so the tanks don't die, make sure you keep healing them. Then he puts a shield, as you can see there's three shields around him, there's a shield effect. Now during this phase he takes less damage, he doesn't take uh, as much damage as before so you have to wait. Uh, you could wait with your burst or you could just keep bursting through it but you will do less damage. Uh, once the shield is gone you can just burst him again and this phase keeps coming over and over, he's gonna spawn the crystals. Uh, there is no more adds or no more charge anymore, it's just straight up, uh, tanks has to survive, you guys just have to DPS and stay alive. Uh, and uh, the bo honestly the boss fight was a lot of fun, we had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, there's so much you have to like keep an eye out on and uh, uh, guys enjoy the rest of the fight, good luck on your drops. He drops Arcane Crystal uh, gear, 
Uh, you can check it at the end of the video. I uh, click on it. I also get one in my bag uh, to read the effect of it. And it dropped necklace, uh, all type of gear. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Keep watching. I, I made another. Uh, you can see this fight again without my commentating if you guys want to watch this. And make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't, guys.